Hi everyone, um, just want to do a quick informal recording, sorry for the terrible audio on this one, uh, on a question we get a lot uh, regarding quick decals and how to take uh, textures that you've gotten from usually gametextures.com or even any other source, but uh, most recent questions have generally, generally been from there. Um, how to take those textures and make them into a transparent decal to use with quick decals. So first thing is whenever you get your textures you'll have most likely, first thing you'll notice is the diffuse texture. For game textures, this has the underscore D at the end of it, and this is the general color texture. And if you apply this in Unity, it will look just uh, as it looks here. You won't get any of the nice transparency that is uh, what really makes it uh, look great, especially if you're going for a decal that has uh, torn edges or something that's supposed to fade off, etc. So you'll need to find the transparency, or if you don't have one, unfortunately, you'll have to make one yourself. Luckily, uh, luckily all the game textures decals come with that, so it's the underscore T file. T for transparency. So open that one up as well. And this is just a grayscale map uh, or texture that's going to be anything that is black will be uh, see-through, anything that is white will be visible or opaque. And the grayscale in between is just the, uh, the shades in between, of course. So very simple, just hit Control A and then Control C to copy this entire texture. And then you can close it, Control W in Photoshop. Here we'll need to switch over from the layers uh, in the bottom right to channel. So we need to add an extra channel. This will be the alpha channel in the target file. So down on the, click on the new button, and instead of making uh, as any layers, it would add a new layer. However, we're in the channels mode, so we're going to add a new channel by clicking that button. And Photoshop, as you'll see, instantly recognizes that as a alpha channel. It says alpha one there. So just hit control V. And since we just copied that um, grayscale texture, it's going to now paste it directly into your alpha channel. And that's pretty much it for setting this up. You can take a look at this. If you turn back on the RGB channel, the uh, red overlay is going to show what is opaque and what is transparent. And just turn off the alpha channel if you'd like to get it back to uh, looking normal. Of course, that red overlay won't actually have any impact on the real texture itself. It's just a visualization. So now we need to save this out. And this is another step. Uh, it needs to be made sure it's done correctly. So I'll hit Control shift s and then save it as a targa. And make sure, very important, make sure you have the alpha channels on. It needs to be checked on, otherwise it's not going to save out that alpha channel. So then I'll save this as decal underscore uh, maybe trans alpha. So I know that the uh, alpha or transparency is saved in the alpha channel, uh, since other times I might save the uh, spec or gloss map or other things in there. Uh, and then just hit OK to save it. And now we have that saved out with the alpha channel. Next, we can go into Unity. And this is what it's going to look like uh, once we add it in. I'll just delete this so that it's so we can do it here ourselves. Working on a small laptop here, so not a lot of space. Delete the version that, that Unity has here. OK, so now we need to import the file. We have it right here, decal underscore trans alpha. Just drag and drop it into your project. Once in Unity, we'll just need to check a few settings on this. Number one, you can double check that the alpha channel came in correctly by looking at the preview on the bottom of the inspector. Where you see the RGB channels here, you can click on that to toggle between showing the alpha channel and the RGB channel. As long as that shows up, you're going to be OK. If it doesn't, something you can check is, just in case, uh, you may have been editing this texture in an advanced mode or something previously. And if you had set the format to something that does not include the alpha channel, for example, RGB compressed DXT1. If I apply that, DXT1 will not uh, will not ever include the alpha channel. So now you don't even have that little preview button. The alpha channel is gone. DXT5 will include that, but that is generally best just to leave on automatic compressed, and it will take care of itself just fine once I apply that. Unity recognizes that there is an alpha channel and retains it. So double check your settings there and make sure that it is uh, keeping that alpha channel when imported. Next, we just need to um, drag it into the quick decals window. There it is. And then you can apply it directly to the object. As simple as that. Scale that up a bit. So there you go. Very quick and simple. Just a matter of making sure you have that alpha channel or the transparency in there as an alpha channel telling Unity to make sure it's recognizing that alpha channel, 
and then you can bring it right into quick decals and add it in all you like.